The Republic of West Florida was a short-lived nation lasting only 74 days. It was located in the Florida parishes along with Jackson County, George County, Hancock County, Pearl River County, Harrison County, and Stone County, Mississippi. Some of these counties didn't exist at the time. In 1803, the Louisiana Purchase occurred, and West Florida, along with the modern-day Florida parishes, were excluded as West Florida was still under the control of the Spanish. Notice how the Florida parishes weren't a part of the Louisiana Purchase as they were a part of Spanish West Florida. This disappointed the pro-American faction in the area, as many were Americans who moved there to get rich off the farmland. They in fact staged the failed 1804 Kemper Rebellion, in which they attempted to capture Baton Rouge in 1804, but they failed having no support from the American settlers. There were two other factions in the region, the pro-Spanish faction and the pro-independence faction, so support for the future republic was far from unanimous. The pro-American faction wanted to be annexed by the US, while the pro-Spaniards were simply complacent or wanted to protect their own interests, and the pro-independence faction wanting to form their own sovereign nation. On June 23, 1810, a convention was established and they met on the 25th. They avoided talking about rebellion and drafted a resolution to assist Spanish governor Carlos de Lasas. This resolution was a thinly veiled undermining of his authority. At first, de Lasas was passive and even held dinners with the delegates. The Spanish authorities weren't fond of this and de Lasas tried to get troops from Governor Folk, but the message was intercepted. De Lassus also had support from the mayor of St. Helena, who promised to raise 500 tr troops to the Spanish cause. The delegates, now knowing of the governor's deceitfulness, met in St. Francisville, and on September 22nd, they sent riders out to get men to concentrate on the outskirts of Baton Rouge. The force, led by Philemon Thomas, captured the Spanish fort and raised the flag of the Republic of West Florida, which was a white star on an azure field. The flag was the first of its kind and heavily resembles the Bonnie Blue flag. Some claim it was his predecessor. The Republic of West Florida was established September 23, 1810. They at first proposed to the governors of Mississippi Territory and Orleans Territory to take the territory on behalf of the U.S but they were indecisive and never responded. So the Republic established St. Francisville as their capital. On October 24, 1810, they wrote a constitution and Fulwar Skipwith was named the governor of the new nation. On the 27th, President Madison claimed the territory for the US without congressional approval or negotiation. On December 6, 1810, the governor of Orleans, with help from Governor Holmes, occupied the capital and raised the stars and stripes marking the end of the Republic. Today, the legacy of the Republic of West Florida are buildings named after it and the Florida parishes in Louisiana.